Okay, so this is Monday, June 1st, and every week we are going to have um, about th well, three different challenges that you guys can participate in the middle of the week. And we're going to have a reading challenge, um, some sort of a STEM challenge, and if you don't know what STEM is or STEAM, it's um, science, technology, engineering, and if we put the A in there for STEAM, it's art and math, M. So what we're going to do for that one is you're going to have some sort of a challenge that you need to do this week at some point. Now you're on your own, you can do it however you want to do it, um, but you have to use your own materials. And at the end of the week, you're going to either send us a video or a picture, and you can do that on Facebook on our, um, or any way. If you want your mom and dad to text us a picture or video, that's fine too. Whatever you want to do to show us that you did it. And at the end of, well, next week, we will choose our favorite and you are going to win a prize. You're also going to get a big sign with maybe some balloons and whatever um, outside of your house. We'll come to your house and put it outside of your house. And it's going to say um, super STEM student. It's going to be kind of superhero theme and you'll win a big prize and it'll be really fun. So we want everybody to participate in this. So the challenge this week for our STEAM STEM um, challenge is you need to make a maze. And here's some examples of what I've kind of put out there. You can do whatever you want to. So if you can see these, there is um, one that they just made with straws and they just made it on cardboard or whatever. And they used um, a golf ball and they had to get the golf ball to get to the end of their maze. Maybe you want to do like a Lego maze. You could use marbles or something. You can do, a lot of people have those marble run that we have here at school. You could do something like that. Or since it's gonna be such a nice hot week um, this week outside, uh, you can use maybe sticks um, and maybe do one for your little brother, or sister or neighbor kid or your parents that they need to um, try and get to the end of. It's your choice how you wanna do it. Um, and we cannot wait to see how creative you get with these. Maybe you wanna make one for uh, your hamster or your gerbil or whatever you have to get through. It's your choice. Be creative. Show us your best mazes. You have one week to do that. Um, the other one we have, which is going to be, everybody's going to get these, is you're going to get sheets like this. And it's called, it says my shelfie on it. Um, we want you guys to read, you know, on these books. And as soon as you, I think there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 3, 4, 5, 6, 27, 28, 29, 30 books on here. So you don't have to read that in a week, but if you read 30 books or maybe you're not reading yet on your own and a parent reads to you, you can just go ahead and write the t title of the book on there or have an adult help you do that and then just color them in. And then when you're done, you uh, either take a picture of this and send it to us or when your mom or dad or whoever's picking up your supplies, they can bring this to us. Oh, the bell is still off at school, just so you know. Um, bring this in and we will send a prize home with you in your next supply bag if you finish this. But we have to see it's complete. You're also going to get one of these. It's called, uh, this is our June reading bingo. So um, we are asking that you read, which you should be doing this anyways, 15 plus minutes every single night, okay? And there's different challenges on here. So. There's read and eat outside, read with a flashlight in the dark, read with silly hair, read a book about a vacation, read someone with brown hair, uh, read a magazine, read to a neighbor, whatever you wanna do. But the directions are you eat, read 15 minutes a night, and then when you get four bingos, you just can color them in when you, when you do the, that challenge. If you get four bingos, you um, have a parent sign it, write your name on it, can send us a picture or bring it to us at school and you will win a big prize for this one. So that's our reading challenge, challenge for June. These you can read, man, if you read 30 books in a day, I will give you a prize every single day if you want to. We want you guys reading. So there's your two things. You're going to get those. This one you'll get um, once and then these we will give you a new one after you complete one of them. And our last challenge is every week we're going to have a kindness challenge. We want you to show um, different ways of kindness. Now, we are expecting that you are doing that every day, but we're going to have a challenge. And if you write into us, um, either write to us or send a picture or have your mom text me, you're going to win 
um, a prize for this as well. The, um, the challenge this week is to do something um, like a chore or something that would be really nice for your parents or grandparents or whoever you live with, your brothers or sisters, whoever. Do something at home without being asked. Now, I don't want to be it to be like, oh, I something that you're you're supposed to do anyways. Maybe do something like, your room's a mess. Clean up your room and then surprise your parent or your grandparent or whoever you live with with that, um, with that act of kindness. And I guarantee your family is going to be very proud of you. So if you do that and you're an adult, lets us know that you do that, we will give you a prize well so that's the challenge for this week um those are the challenges for this week maze is our stem challenge um and the reading challenge like this and um the kindness challenge that's three prizes you can get this week so we really hope that you can do all those things um and then we will announce winners next monday um for the reading challenge and the stem challenge okay um, and that is our challenges for the week. If you have any questions, uh, let me know.